I'm having a hard time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again, and yes, we have another hair uh, review. And um, as you can see, my hair is wet. Don't mind the wet spots that you see on my shirt. My hair is supposed to be wet because guess what? Today I am super, super excited. I've been seeing this all over YouTube. Um, people are reviewing the Revlon. Whoops, wrong way. The Revlon, what is this called? The Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I just got this yesterday. I have not opened it. I honestly wanted to try it before I filmed this, but I had to keep telling myself, no, just wait, just wait, just wait. So, um, yeah, so this, um, like I said, there is all over YouTube. Um, it's a one step hair dryer and volumizer. People are comparing this to the Dyson Air Wrap thing, I guess. And, um, Obviously, I can't afford to get that, and nor do I want it because I heard that it's only good for people with shorter hair, and with my hair being so long, I don't think it's gonna benefit me at all. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I purchased mine at Target, and it was $59.99, so it came out to like maybe $60, $63 or something like that. And it looks pretty good when I've seen other people review it, so I am so excited. Let's go ahead and uh, get this open. So this is what it looks like. The cord is stuck down here. There we go. So it is a two prong. Is that what it's called? Prong? Yeah. The thing that you stick into the wall. And my first impression is it's actually lighter than I thought. Let's get this top part off. Get this off. There's the directions in this bag. We don't need that because I've watched so many videos on this. So this is supposed to be the cooling part where you can hold and turn. This thing is actually ginormous. Look, it's the size of my face. Um, and here's the on, off, and cool switch. I don't know if you can see that because it's focusing on my face. But yeah, it is, it's, it's light, but it's heavy. And um, here's the cord. The cord looks like it's pretty long. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I got it plugged in, and um, let's turn it on for the first time and hear what it sounds like. Okay. That's pretty loud, and that is the low setting. I'm wondering what the high setting is gonna sound like. Not that much louder, but um, yeah, so it's pretty strong. The um, the the wind that comes out of it, I guess. Uh, the heat is pretty strong, and just to let you guys know if you guys hear a weird noise in the background, it's my fan going because it is extremely hot right now, and with this blowing on my head, it's gonna make me even hotter, so I had to put the fan on. So just bear with me with that. And um, let's see, what else about this thing? So obviously, it's supposed to be ionic technology for fast, smooth, silky, smooth, shiny results. Um, it reduces damage because of its ceramic coating. It's tangle-free combination bristles. So yeah, there's two types of bristles on here. And um, it is lightweight. It is pretty lightweight. And um, yeah, max drying. There's triple setting, swivel cord, and it is oval shaped. And yeah, so you know what? Let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off and do this in sections. I work best that way. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna section my hair off. Okay, so I got my hair sectioned off and I was watching uh, people do this review and tutorial online on YouTube and it looks like they were able to grab big enough sections because this barrel is super big and it is long and it is wide so like I said, they were grabbing super big sections. So I'm gonna just divide each section into two and pull it forward and work with it that way. Now, again, I've never used this before, so if I'm using it wrong, don't yell at me in the comments, okay? Should I use the high? I think I'm gonna start with the high setting because with any other two, I always use the high setting just because my hair is kind of wavy and it's pretty thick. I'm gonna start with the high setting. Thank you. 
Okay, I think I should have started with the low setting. It is super hot. Like, so when you get close to your neck area, and especially because your ear is right here, it, it, it gets really, really hot. Um, and your hair gets really, really hot too. But, I mean, it's, did a good, it's done a good job. We're trying to achieve that blowout look. Like, we just got out of the salon and we just got round brushed. So, yeah, so far, it's really hard to tell at this part. And you know what would actually make this look better is if I had layers in my hair. I totally grew out all my layers because I was sick of them and now I wish I had them in my hair because in that way you'll actually be able to see the blowout. But you know what? Hey, let's go ahead and continue this on the other side. Okay, so I am done with this side and so far I'm loving it. As you can see, it's not getting stuck in my hair at all. Like, you can actually, I'm actually winding it up from the top and just going like this. And it's not getting tangled at all, which I am super surprised. Um, not much hair fell out. Well, actually, I don't even see any hair. Um, yeah, so... Let me go ahead and continue this and at the very end I'm going to use the cool setting and cool down my whole entire hair but I'm going to fast forward this part and um, yeah we'll see what the end result looks like. Okay, so now that we're at the top, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am sweating. It is so hot. Make sure you have your AC or a fan blasting on you like I have, but I'm still hot. But anyways, we're at the last section, which is the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this part forward, the crown of my hair. I'm gonna bring it forward and pull it forward and then turn it and try to curl it back just so I can get as much, just so I can get as much volume as possible. So watch me do this. Alright, so now it's time for the slow-mo. you guys so that's the end of the video now I loved everything about this only thing is number one it's too loud and number two it gets so hot when it gets like near your scalp or your skin or your neck that's the only thing I didn't like about it and you don't see too much of a flip at the end I mean some places like right here you see it kind of flip in flip out I think that's because of its oval shape and it's not circular like a round brush I wish it was a little bit more rounder so it looks more flippy I guess but you know that's just for me a lot of people do like it where your ends are not flipping and they just like the volume like this um yeah i love this this is super super great hopefully this lasts for a long time i mean for a few days and um yeah i mean other than that if you guys found this video helpful and you guys like products like this please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll be posting videos every single week follow me on instagram mr tice it'll be linked down below in the description box and also i have all my past beauty hair cooking and all kinds of vlogs down in the description box as well and um yeah um get this product i really really like it other than that you guys again don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later you guys take care and see you next week bye